I use my kitchen and you go out the kitchen door and you're straight under uh, I don't know uh, it's kind of like a little shed it doesn't touch the house it, uh, and you went separate from the house and uh, it's a little greenhouse um, and uh, regardless of what you think of my design it's very useful that it is so close to the house um, so I've got uh, Swiss chard, um, salad, greens, uh, Welsh onions, Egyptian onions, uh, this is a little with uh, mustard, um, and uh, this is a pepper, and in this end of it I have um, tomatoes in a um, nutrient film technique uh, hydroponics and I used to have it covered up in plastic which was I, I'm pretty sure it was a bad idea I should have covered it in something that was black I had uh, this uh, this stuff on top of clear plastic and I think that was bad that's a kind of a landscaping fabric so I had that on top of uh, clear plastic and uh, duckweed grew under the clear pl plastic I had a um, good crop of um, watercress and my tomatoes have done well it's uh, October 13th Friday the 13th and you can see that the nutrient film technique uh, like I just took off the stuff off top but you can see how much roots there is here and how much goo and gunk is in the roots so it probably, um, uh, I, I was thinking this is just a piece of wood across the top, just to hold these out of the, out of the water. And I was thinking uh, to do it again, you could actually do it with just a rubber liner underneath and uh, strips of wood across the top with uh, some little holes that you can uh, plant the plants down in and uh, that might be better it's supposed to be not that good for for tomatoes um because uh, the roots of tomatoes grow so big and the season so long so they just keep growing over the season but it's done okay i i did sow them way late and uh there's quite a few still on it like i eat them you know two or three every day and uh there's, there's lots still on it um, well, it's, uh, it's done with an uh, airlift pump uh, technique where uh, air comes down through this and it goes down, the air pipe goes down through this, down to the bottom here at, I don't know, about 30 inches. Um, I have an earlier video how deep it is. Down and the air pumps up water with um, the air bubbles pump of water as it goes straight up through this pipe and then the water flows down and it's only something like six inches from one end to the other of a fall which is uh, fairly minimal i think it's nine or ten feet long i can't remember but uh, about three meters long of uh, a length and you can have much longer apparently and this is 14 inches which is about 35 centimeters wide and I think that's a nice space for this stuff. I have a couple of my tomato plants are in here too, in soil gardening in here, so it's slightly deceptive. But the vast majority of them are, are now, you know, that's producing are in, in the hydroponics. I'm hoping as soon as they're out to uh, replant this with Swiss chard and maybe hopefully keep growing the watercress in it as well over the winter um i was looking into so this is isn't a proper greenhouse because it's open to the to uh to the um it, it, there's you know there's a walkway on one side of it and i was looking into uh closing off the walkway with um just to slow down the, the air changes in it with uh plastic strips but it costs uh, about 150 dollars for a, a five foot 
uh, gap to be closed, which is not what I'm going to do. So I might, um, instead of closing off the walkway, I might just have a plastic strip along this side of it, uh, coming up from here. And that way, um, you know, it will retain its heat better once it starts to get really cold. It's not going to be really cold yet. This is way too high, this shelf I made. So I'm going to bring it down the shelf height. Maybe maybe this shelf will be the height of this. With the, so the plants will be at a, a better height. And this is going to be uh, kind of my potting sh uh, shelf, I guess, where I'll be um, putting plants on. Uh, you know, growing them up to about this size and, and this size with the kale and then transplanting them outside so that um, they'll get a bit of a boost rather than get eaten by slugs if, if I put them out at a smaller size. Anyway, uh, it has worked and I'm gradually making it better. So, um, but just location, uh, if you're making a greenhouse, I think uh, putting it close to uh, where the plants are going to be eaten is a good idea because my other greenhouse is uh, about 100 feet away and uh, it does make a difference. Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, uh, I haven't, I didn't pay attention to uh, giving it fertilizer as well as I should and you can see like it's not as packed as some. Some um, some greenhouses would have way more on that, and I think that was I just didn't because I was learning about it. I didn't pay as much attention. The water in summer, it really did. They really did transpire water out, so that um, you'd add half a watering can maybe per day, and um, maybe even a full watering can some days. So um, that was a surprise that uh, they were growing so quickly. But um, it's the same with the soil part of the garden that we're flying out, uh, you know, soaking up water like you wouldn't believe. Um, but yeah, uh, it it has worked. Uh, plastic on top was probably, uh, I thought it would conserve water, but all it did was uh, uh, let the duckweed grow uh, without problem. So. Uh, I'm going to try, I've got to figure out a different covering for the top and a better way of keeping plants out of the water so that the plants can be, you know, like this little switch chard, can have its root, um, the, air, the first part of the plant out of the water and then the roots dipped into the water so it grows nicely. Um, it's all glass I got for free, the metal I got for free, uh, some of the wood I had to buy most of it for free uh, but yeah it's um, I wish it was a bit prettier but uh, a, a free oh uh, this stuff uh, isn't free that was expensive um, but I think uh, we need more uh, backyard and maybe rooftop um, growing and the great thing about uh, the hydroponics is uh, you don't have the weight of soil so I'm a little surprised that uh, we're not seeing more rooftop greenhouses on um, you know flat rooms and stuff like that because uh, you could grow a lot of food on a roof especially above uh, a heated building anyway oh here's uh, I guess here's the one of the better growing um, Swiss chards and we've just got to figure out the whys and the wheres. Uh, it seemed that the stuff early on uh, grew better and that's probably because I, I was reluctant to give it a huge amount of fertilizer. Anyway, I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Uh, take care. Bye bye.